Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Rena Lunick. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show to talk about binge watching. Thank you for having me. Well, give us the 411. Well, I mean, you might want to get a pen and paper ready. There's so much great content coming this season that I think that your uh, listeners are going to enjoy. So on the comedy side, Catastrophe is a uh, fun relationship and parenting comedy. Um, that one will be coming out uh, in just a couple weeks. Veep on HBO. Um, I know there are a lot of fans of that show with Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Um, that one just started last week, so lots to catch up on there. Uh, there's a new show um, called I'm Dying Up Here. It's coming out from Showtime. Um, it's about the comedy scene in L.A. in the 70s. I think that is just going to be a really interesting show. Um, that one will premiere in June. And then uh, over on the drama side, we have a really cool docu-series on Amazon Prime Video called American Playboy, the Hugh Hefner story. It gives a little bit of an inside look at how Playboy got started. So for any uh, Playboy fans out there, um, that one's definitely a fun docu-series to check out. Um, also, we have Bosch uh, is a, another one coming on Amazon. Um, that one is based on the Michael Connolly books, and uh, it's, uh, it's set in L.A. It's kind of a crime drama, so um, I know there are a lot of fans out there just happy to see that one come back. And then, of course, uh, the long-awaited House of Cards on Netflix. That one is coming um, at the end of May. You're right. Those are all great shows. I talked to Titus yesterday on Bosch. Oh, yeah. Yes, he has such a following, so I know people can't wait to binge watch that, along with the other ones, but he's got such a following. He does. You know, um, Michael Connolly as well um, has such a following, and I think that's where people really started to get intrigued um, with Bosch. But, you know, Titus has really created this awesome character um, in Harry Bosch, and, and so um, it's really hard to uh, not watch it. Amazon's becoming a big player in uh, 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 what do we want to say, in, in, in viewing. What, why do you think you guys are doing so well? Well, I think really, all, you know, it, it's all about the content. People um, love watching on demand. People love watching um, binge-worthy shows. And uh, Amazon, I think, you know, has such great writers, such great, uh, you know, actors and actresses that want to work with us. And it just makes for really, really good content. It does, and it seems like Amazon, among others, but you guys are now, we used to go to the movies, and now we're, we're watching you guys for what's hot and what's not. Well, that's that's our goal, so <laughs> thanks for that. Um, yeah, that's certainly what we want. I mean, you know, we Manchester by the Sea um, was one of our movies that just won uh, an Oscar, and that one's actually coming out um, for Prime members um, next month. And, uh, you know, I, I think that there are a lot of people that really like the convenience of watching when they want to watch, where and how. Um, and so the idea of going to the movies or the idea of sitting on the couch at 8 o'clock waiting for that next show, um, it doesn't necessarily fit in with the on-the-go lifestyle that we see so many people have today. Today my guest is Rena Lunick, and we're talking about spring binge watching. You know, this trend, and she's forecasting, and we're discussing uh, your indulgence in movies. Let me ask you also, too, this is beyond mainstream TV. What else is out there for 
for, for us on the horizon do you think from Amazon in a sense as far as watching? Sure. The really interesting thing is that uh, with streaming, there are a lot of people that have found niche subscriptions that um, that fit their lifestyle. So anime is a big uh, genre right now that a lot of people really want to watch, but it's hard to find that content. So Amazon Channels made it really easy. We launched a channel called Anime Strike, um, it, and we curate a bunch of that anime content. So it's just right at your fingertips if you're an anime fan. Same thing on um, you know British TV. A lot of people really got hooked on Downton Abbey and found that they really love those um, British uh, comedy and drama series. And so Acorn TV is a subscription dedicated solely to um, British TV. So there's a lot of really interesting niche subscriptions, whether you're you know, into fitness or you're into horror, or as I mentioned, anime. Um, lots of subscriptions out there for you. All right. I'm going to take this, this Facebook question. This will be my final question this morning, guys. Sure. Uh, uh, a, a viewer wants to know, how do you weed through all of the, the content that's out there? How do you program it specifically for you? Yeah, I get asked that a lot because there is so much content out there. Um, recommendations and watch lists are my two best friends. So the watch list is um, available on all the streaming services. And, and what you can do is, just like I rattled off a bunch of shows, you can go and add those to your watch list right away. So you just spend the time to do it once, and then when you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm ready for a crime drama, you'll uh, go to your watch list and Bosch will be right there. On the uh, recommendations, though, you know, I am a big fan of House of Cards on Netflix, for example. I watch it on my Fire TV at home. And, uh, and by, because I watch that, um, Amazon knows that I also will probably like Homeland, which is available on Showtime. And so it lets me know right away, uh, if you watched um, you know, House of Cards, you'll probably like Homeland. And if I didn't know that show, um, then that would be something I would say, oh yeah, I'm gonna add to my watch list. So um, you know, being able to have those recommendations based on shows you watch is a really great way to find new content. All right, there you go, Foster. Hopefully that helps you cut through the clutter. I want to thank you so much, Rena. My audience, if they don't have Amazon Fire or any Amazon product, how can they get it, and where would you send them online? Sure. So Amazon.com slash video is the best place uh, to get the content. You can um, watch, you know, you can see all the content that's available to you. You can also watch it right on um, uh, on your computer. You also can download the app, the Prime Video app, onto your mobile devices, so tablets or phones, and have all of the great shows on the go. Rena Lunick, you are the go-to voice at Amazon, and thanks for being on the Velder BB Show today. Thank you for having me.